Welcome back to the Amajack. We got Gunslinger Suicidal Mario 64 Remastered. Let's go. Really liking Gunslinger. It's been a while. Um, it's good fun. I've been thinking about making a. I mean, I have a Roll20 account. I've been thinking about playing a Roll20 game. Because as a player, it doesn't take up that much time. You know, you got like a five hour session once a week. That's not, that's not that bad. Right? Five hours a week, not bad. That's 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 like a long D and D game too, and that's that's a frequent D and D game too. Like you know, it could be like five hours every two weeks or five hours a month kind of thing. But I'm talking like max. You got five hours a week invested into into D and D as a player. That's that's like the absolute max. Max. You got your character. You got your character sheet. I'm not counting the time of leveling up your character or, or chatting with your friends in the in the group. That, that doesn't count. That's not time invested, because, I mean, leveling up your character takes, like, I don't know, five seconds every 20 minutes, or 20, 20 rounds? I don't know. Like, you level up every few rounds, really, but... Like, it's, it's it, it doesn't take much time at all. Not, not enough to be significant on, like, a five hour per week. Like, okay, five hours in, like, two seconds per week. Like, yeah, it's, it's within area margin. Uh, so I'd, I'd, I'd like to, to maybe start up one of them, because I just, I want to play, right? I'm having, I'm having fun being a DM, I'm, I'm having a blast, I'm super excited to get into the homebrew stuff, but, you know, there's, there's just something about being a player, and, uh, being able to stick it to your DM, and, and throw their plans into, into disarray. There's just something good about that, that, uh, that you don't get as a DM, because, as the DM, you're the one that has your plans thrown into disarray by your players. And you can't help it. You know, there's... Goodness gracious, is this just going to be a round of crawlers? You going to get anything else? Because uh, as, as a player, you don't have plans, really. I mean, you kind of do, but... Like, largely your plans are just the DM's plans, or... I mean, this is your two options as a, as a player of... Uh, of D and D is is either a meme or the DM's plans. You're either following the story or you're not. And if you're not following the story, then I'm sorry, but that's a meme. Okay, you got you got excited about like setting up a setting up a, a laundromat. I'm sorry, that's a meme. You can do it. You can have fun doing, but that's a meme. I'm very sorry to break it to you. Um, so I don't know, I've been thinking about doing that. So I just, I want to play, and it's, it's sort of, n none of the people in my group want to DM. Well, none of the people in my group want to invest the time into DMing. They, they want to have the time to be able to do it, but they just, they don't have the time to, to invest in it. And that's okay, if you don't have the time for it, it, it does take quite a lot of time. I would say I spend probably... Like, we have three-hour-long sessions, three to four-hour-long sessions. I spend probably, you know, outside of that, four or five hours per session, generally, just making sure I understand what's going to be happening, the world, the characters, um, preparing stuff, you know. Four or five hours of my time is taken to, uh, to a three-hour session, so it's like maybe two or three times as much time spent playing D&D, like if you have a three hour session, I probably spend four or five hours, if you have a six hour session, it's probably, you know, eight or ten hours of, of preparation for it. And I spend probably two or three times more time um, playing the game, you know, than, uh, than the players do, because they, they spend three or four hours, and I spend, um, you know, like, Eight or nine hours. It's, it's two or two, two to three times as much time. I guess it's another session and a bit that I have to I have to spend um, planning out everything and making sure it's all going to be good for the characters and balancing stuff. And I mean, right now especially, it's really hard to balance stuff. But uh, anyway, so it is a lot of work and a lot of time. It's fun and it's rewarding, but it, it's you know it's a lot of work. If you don't have the time, you don't have the time. Um, so I've been thinking about making a, a Roll20 account and playing over there or something like that. 
seeing if uh, some other people want to maybe make a, a group. I do have the other group that I played with before, which we unfortunately had to break up because of uh, just reasons, you know, people going to school, having children, moving. Um, might see if we want to start something up online, maybe, with, uh, with them, which could be cool. Uh... I don't know if they're into it though. I sent a message uh, like three days ago and there's been no response. It wasn't about that, mind you. Um, it was just in general, just chatting about uh, the group I DM for and, and uh, the, uh, the, the event that had happened. Um, that was a few days ago now and, and there's been no response from them at all. Um, so I'm, I'm not even sure they're really checking the chat that much, which is, you know, they're probably busy or whatever. Um, they all got kids and wives and, well, they all got kids at least. Um, they have, uh, they have things to do, jobs and responsibilities, and meanwhile I'm over here and I'm like, yeah, well, my responsibility is about, like, once a week I have to go and record 14 Killing Floor 2 episodes. Yeah, it's not, it's not quite, it's not quite the same degree of, of, uh, of, of responsibility as, as a, as a proper job would be, right? But, I mean, hey, it's what I got, right? So I don't know, I'll see if, if they want to maybe start something up online. I wouldn't be able to DM because I do not have the time to DM another campaign. I don't know, I see, I see some people have like multiple groups that they're DMing for and I'm like, I don't know how you manage that. Like, how do you ever manage to run multiple groups in, uh, in, in, in D&D? Like, how do, you, how do you manage to have the time to make that happen? I just, I don't get it. That is an insane amount of work for, for two groups? Like, what are you playing, like, once a month? I don't get it. I just don't get it. I mean, maybe they do play once a month, and then I would get it, but... Just, that's a lot of time. I posted on Reddit, uh, describing the, the event that had happened with the, the, the one barbarian just kind of god tier rolls bringing her alive and one of the commenters was like well they they think they're above the law so send out some adventurers and you know capture or kill them and i'm like i i don't really want to burst their bubble like that like they're pretty content with what had happened and we'll just we'll just make the journey a little bit challenging and make sure they're aware that this is there were definitely some consequences to the uh to the crimes that they committed um, but, uh, they said if I had another group, then I could, like, have them roleplay, like, trying to catch each other, and, like, escape, and, and whatnot, and I'm like, yeah, okay, if I have another group, then that would be fantastic, but how the heck do you have time for two groups? That's nuts! I, I, I do not have the time for that. Having to manage, like, two groups, and then, like, I just get mixed up all the time, too. Can't see how it would work. <laughs> it's too much for me. Hey, that looks okay. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like if you like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.